Hello, I'm Kathy Maloney, and I am the Bureau Chief of Library and Network Services, but we are better known as the State Library of Florida. I'm here to talk to you about the services that we provide to Florida's libraries and their staff. The first thing I want to talk about is statewide resource sharing specifically the Florida Library Information Network, Delivery, and Flynn Shared. The Florida Library Information Network, also known as Flynn, is a statewide cooperative network for interlibrary loan and resource sharing. Flynn was established in 1968 so that all Florida residents could ha have access to information and materials held in Florida's libraries. Membership is open to any library in the state and Flynn members agree to freely lend and to borrow from other Flynn libraries. All Flynn members are encouraged to participate in Flynn Share It. Flynn Share It is the division's statewide resource sharing platform. The platform will display participating libraries catalogs to patrons, no matter what ILS is in use, using a Z39.50 connection, thus making it possible for patrons from all types of libraries to discover and request items that they need. It supports requests for both returnables and non-returnables and is designed for unmediated patron requesting with the hope of saving you staff time, but you can make the requesting at your library as mediated as you would like. Some participating libraries also use the platform as a cataloging tool to search for and download MARC records. There are 72 participating libraries consisting of public, academic, and special libraries. So far, these libraries have placed and filled close to 40,000 requests amongst each other in a year. The division covers the cost of the platform, and moving to Flint Share it has allowed many of these libraries to see a budget savings by allowing them to stop their current resource sharing subscription. Another aspect of statewide resource sharing that the Bureau of Library and Network Services is very involved in is the Florida Library Delivery Service. We work very closely with the Tampa Bay Library Consortium to establish FedEx accounts for libraries that participate in the delivery service and help to ensure that everything runs as smoothly as possible. Participating libraries pay 33% of the FedEx shipping fees and the Division of Library and Information Services covers the remaining 67%. In 2022, we helped libraries ship just under 134,000 packages. The State Library does not just help facilitate resource sharing. We are here to serve as a resource for you. One of our collection development missions is to collect resources that we think might help Florida's library staff. We collect ebooks on a variety of different subjects pertaining to our profession, and we offer access to several databases such as Library and Information Science Source and Visualizing Funding for Libraries. Any staff member of a public library, public school library, or public academic library can get a state library card to access these e resources. As you all know, not everything can be accessed electronically, so we also have a very large collection of print titles that can be borrowed through interlibrary loan. The State Library of Florida also subscribes to many professional library journals and newsletters. Most of these titles may not be easily accessible or available in the electronic format. 
Our table of contents service lets you select the professional resources that you need. Florida's library staff can sign up for the service and journals and magazines on topics with the information that you want can be delivered to your desk. You just fill out a form with your name, email address, and the library you work for. On that form, you select all of the titles that you are interested in and submit, and you can select as many titles as you want. Each time the State Library receives a new issue, we will scan the table of contents that you've selected and send it to you. Then you just respond to that email letting us know which articles you would like to see, and we will scan those and send them back to you. It's that simple. So that's a brief overview of the State Library. If you have any questions or would like to hear anything else about services that we provide, please feel free to reach out 